What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. We've got a very exciting episode ahead of us. We are finally gonna actually be able to use the Caterpillar 745C. So you guys might remember we unlocked this back in episode 11. We had to fix it up, give it some repair points, some fuel stuff like that, and then tow it to a destination. And uh, we did that, then we kind of drove it around a bit. It was really cool, it was really unique, but it's very specialized. The problem comes with the fact that you only have two add-ons. You've got a container carrier or a fuel carrier, and that's it. So this is a big Brutus just boss of a machine, but it only has a couple of primary uses, which makes it kind of hard to fit into most missions. But we've got a good mission for it today. If you check out Morrison Mining here in the North Port, we've got the drilling supplies mission. Looks like you're the chosen one, chosen to save the day and deliver materials to a drilling site, that is. Used to do it all myself in the younger days, but my body ain't what it used to be. Get going. So we need to take a cargo container and some medium pipes and bring them to uh, to the drilling site. So this should be interesting. I'm excited to see uh, to see if this thing works pretty well. I've got a feeling it will, and uh, I don't know. It's it's gonna be kind of fun. So uh, let's uh, let's check out. Let me let me see our customization. I know we've found a couple of new engines and stuff lately. So I want to see. Looks like we have both of these unlocked. So this is gonna give us more power to weight for reduced fuel, and this is gonna give us even more power to weight for even more reduced fuel. I mean, I'm, I'm down for it. The Westline V16 M2450, the big boss daddy engine in there. We've got an advanced special gearbox, which is gonna give us a full range of gears at the cost of higher fuel consumption. I mean, I, I, I guess, all right. It's gonna give us more durability and stuff. Suspension we can't change. Tires, it looks like, uh, ooh, we can get excellent off-road and mud here. $9,000 is going to be worth it. Winch, we're going to go with the, uh, I'm going to say the extended heavy, or do we want the twin motor heavy? So, like, the twin motor heavy, it, it, it can work harder and work better, but the extended has the extended range. I feel like the extended range might, might be better. I'm wondering if the twin motor heavy already has the extended range built into it, though. I'm not sure. So, we've got all that. Diff lock is good. Rims, we're gonna leave the same. Visuals, we can't change. All right, we're, we're all good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, and pop out of here. Let's see what we've got going on today. Dude, this thing is just such a monster. I'm so excited to actually get to use it. Anytime we need to take a cargo container somewhere, this is, uh, this is gonna be our curl. So let me see, we're gonna wanna go down to the port, which is just straight across and then straight down there. I mean, we've, we've done this route quite a few times. Haven't been back here in Alaska in a while, but I've got a feeling we're gonna we're gonna be able to remember this just fine. Whew. Dude, I just this thing is so unique. It's so special. We're already going over signs and stuff. Okay, we're 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 good. I thought we were going over the guardrail there. We're we're good. No no problems. But uh, yeah, it's it's so unique, dude. Like this this you know center mounted steering wheel and, and seat and everything like there's it, it's just it's us in here this is just i guess there's a little passenger seat down there do we have one on the right side too nope okay so technically this is a two-seater this could be this could be the new new date night car bro new date night whip take chelsea out to dinner in this bad boy bro that would be insane i saw one of these on the side of the road the other day been driving driving Chelsea nuts anytime we're driving somewhere I'm always looking at all the trucks and I I'm starting to notice like the, the trucks that have the cranes on them and stuff like that and I'm just like oh you know that, that kind of looks like our I don't know kind of looks like our pay star or something like that you know obviously nowadays trucks are a bit newer some of the trucks in this game are, are pretty old so you aren't going to see those as uh, as often but I mean there are some some still kicking that's for sure Oof. it's kind of hard to kind of hard to drive on this ice here man look at this beauty though oh she's excited man we said before that she always looked kind of sad but i feel like she looks she looks pretty amped up here because she's actually finally going to be able to be used she's a tool meant to be uh meant to be taken advantage of and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today oh ouch oh my goodness okay coming down that hill was not not very kind to her at all Yikes, dude. Just before that, we had hit a little pebble in the road and we lost one on our suspension. I was like, okay, that's, I mean, that's not ideal, but it's it's not the worst thing in the world. But that that is rough. She uh, she definitely does not handle very well on road. So we're, we're going to have to get her off road as soon as we possibly can. Dude, I'm, I missed Alaska. I, I feel like 
I feel like I like the snow, the snow biomes more than anything else in this game. Like, it, it's just, it's so, so calming. Maybe the, the muddy ones when it's raining, but when we have these just beautiful, you know, slight snow flurries, it's just, it's so relaxing, bro. It's insane. All right. So we made it here. Check out our cargo management. We're going to be able to grab, uh, grab that cargo container. There she is, bro. That's a, uh, that's a full load for this thing. Man, it kills me. It kills me how not, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Adaptable? Just, like, it, it's not able to, to tackle many, many scenarios. Like, I, I, I really, I wish it did. Like, I, I would use this thing all the time just because it looks so cool. All right, we got to get this thing lined up and, and keep her straight. When you kind of overcorrect, then it starts sliding the other way, and then it starts sliding back, and it's just a mess. But yeah, dude, I mean, look at this thing. Like, look at the size of those tires. Look at the capability that this thing has. I would love to be able to use this for normal loads. Like, I'd love if we could have, like, a couple of, of cargo slots in the trailer here. I feel like it wouldn't be too hard to kind of just weld a flatbed on there or something like that, but I guess it's, it's just not... Not an option, unfortunately. I'm gonna check out our, our route here. I really like, we if we were smart, we would go all the way up and around on the main road, come in through here. I mean, it gets a little bit muddy, but overall it's pretty simple. And then that's the easiest, most simple, most you know straight up way to get to this drilling site. But I kind of want to put this thing through its paces. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna take a left here. We can go all the way through here to get to here. Then where do we want to go? I guess just straight. Yeah, we're gonna have to go across like a little land bridge here and stuff. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna truly test what she can do. You know, if you're this limited, if you're this specialized in your abilities, you better be able to do those abilities like nothing else that has ever done them, you know what I mean? Like this cargo container takes up two slots. We could have put this on our, our, you know, shoot, let's go into low here maybe, low high. We could have put this on our, our um, Royal BM-17. We could have put it on, on so many other vehicles that are really, really good. So I, I hope you can, you can show up to work today, fam. So far, I'm not super impressed. We're going to have to use some winching, maybe. Try putting it in auto. Oh, we, we could try putting all-wheel drive on. Forgot about that. That, that'll, that'll, that'll definitely help. <laughs> For some reason, I thought this thing always had it on. But that was not the case there. Oof. This is gonna be a bit of a tight fit. Oh, I like it tight though. Yes, sir. Alright. Def honestly, this is one of the trucks that is definitely easier. Oh shoot. Don't fall off the edge here. It's definitely easier to drive in the uh, in the cabin. You have just unobstructed views. 270 degrees. That you, I mean, you can feel super confident that you're exactly where you want to be. And you're in the center of the road, so you don't have to, like, guess where the edge of the vehicle is. You put yourself in the center, you're going to be in the center. That's just how it is. Are we going the right way? We are. Okay. Whipping the cat, baby! Can't really see over the peak of this hill. Want to make sure we've got this. Oof. I will say, this thing definitely, uh... She, she pulls trees out of the ground very quickly. We got kind of in a weird spot here where we have no traction for a lot of our tires. There we go. That should should get us back in action. Here we go. Woo! We might be in trouble. Oh, she made it. That would have been user error there. We took that one a little bit too wide, but we're good. Ooh. There's an upgrade part down there. I don't think we're going to be getting that today. I'm tempted to. But there's no way we can get down there and get back up with this thing. So we're just going to keep on, uh, keep on grinding. Come on, girl. Oof. This is going to be a tight one here. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. She can make some pretty tight turns for a vehicle this big, heavy, and, and powerful. So you, you got to give that to her. All right. I mean, this is this is pretty tough terrain. I, I think any of our vehicles would be sl like struggling through here, no doubt about that. And she's uh, she's getting it done. What do we have in front of us? Cut down to the right. 
and cut to the left. Oh, dude, we have so much weight behind us. Once you get going in one direction, it's hard to get old girl to stop. Shoot, this is rough. Just run this tree over, maybe. Just, just, just go down the cliff. Just go down the, go down the cliff. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna wanna wanna just keep going straight. Sounds good to me. Good stuff, baby. Liking what I'm seeing so far. I mean, these, these cargo containers are no... Oh, shoot. Are we even going to be able to fit through this? Get skinny, girl. Oh, God. I don't know if we're making this, dude. Come on! <laughs> Have you guys seen the meme of the train that just keeps, you know, going... Oh, okay. Well, this... This is not, this is not how I wanted things to end. I was actually really enjoying this. We probably should have seen this coming. We at least gonna be able to get back out of here. Oh, okay. See, old girl's got some fire in her. I like to see that. We're gonna have to take a different route. Do you guys think we can make it around through there? I don't think we're gonna be able to. I think our best bet's gonna back out and go through to, uh, go through to here. Sometimes you just gotta know when to call it quits. Sometimes you're just too big for the, uh, too big for the task. I wouldn't know what that's like. Coming on around this way. Dude, come on, girl. Sometimes I feel like she has a pretty good turning radius. Other times I feel like she really kind of struggles with it a bit. We just got to maybe turn a little bit earlier. Now, this is going to be nasty in here. We thought the one way was bad. At least that way we were avoiding the crazy water. This time we have water, but we do, I mean, we've got trees lining the edges. I just don't know if they're going to be good enough to, to pull this thing. I feel like this thing just rips trees out of the ground like it's no, no problem. I feel like with all the weight that we have, we're pretty, we're pretty, you know, grounded. I don't think we're going to be able to flip over very easily. So even if we have a bit of an incline on the left over here, ooh, slow down girl, I'll get back over get stuck in the mud. Even if we have a bit of an incline, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, yeah, dude. That was beautiful. We're cruising, baby. This is what I like to, like to see. This is a chill Sunday evening drive, bro. Windows down, music up. Just chilling. Going to make our way around here. I think there's one more big obstacle in our way. We're going to have quite a bit of water to get through, but I've got a feel, dude, like the tires like this. Excellent. In the off-road and in the mud. I just I, I don't think we're gonna have any issues. It'd be nice if we could throw some chains on these bad boys. Make it that much better. Water over road. Alright. I won't ever back down from a challenge, baby. Here we go. I think the thing is, is it's the, the turning is just kinda slow to react. It takes a while for that, that big front end to kinda get turns. So whereas normally you're just turning the wheels, we gotta wait for, for this whole pneumatic system to fully turn and it's it's just not it's just not easy. Come on girl. Just brushing the side of these trees. Like a cat does. You guys know what a cat likes you? They kinda like brush brush their face against you. That's exactly what we were just doing right there. This thing likes those trees. Alright, so we're gonna be going through here. Stay more to the left, Trev. Ooh, this is sketch. Ooh, this is sketch. But to be honest, she's handling it. Gotta get more to the left. Okay. We kind of we hung one one wheel off, and it did not it did not result well for us. The whole thing is kind of kind of tipping to that side now, but we're gonna be good. Are we gonna be able to? Yeah, we can make it through this. I hope. Dude, imagine we make it this far just to get stuck again. I'd be pretty upset. Woo, doggy. That's what I'm talking about. Little victory climb here at the end. Yes, sir. Gonna be going back down through here. We've got a bit more mud and stuff. Nothing that this thing can't handle, though. And is this it? I do believe this may be... Our here objective. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. See, like normal stuff like this. 
And again, the turning is kind of slow. But normal stuff like this just cruises through it. No, no problem, no question at all. Look at that, go ahead and drop that off. Back in the garage, a job well done. I'm proud of you, girl, I love it. But unfortunately, that's all we need you for as of right now. So our next, uh, next part of this objective is to deliver some medium pipes, which we're gonna get from either one of these warehouses. Looks like this one's probably gonna be the easiest to get to. So really, I mean, we wanna do pretty much the same thing. Grab those pipes, take the same route, go do it again. The problem is we aren't gonna be able to get those pipes with this. We're gonna need some other type of a truck. So uh, I'm gonna say we haven't really checked out the, um, oh, did I sell it? I might have, I might have sold it. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell the cat for now too, just for the heck of it. Let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead. Oh shoot, we aren't gonna be able to buy it here, are we? Because you can't buy it in the U.S. Yeah, we had a, we had a fast travel out here. I want to check out the Tega 6436. Let's go ahead and purchase this thing, get it in our inventory. Then we're gonna be able to go back to the, uh, the North Port in Alaska. We can grab this guy. We should be able to customize it here, right? Yeah. All right. I know we have a ton of upgrades for this thing. We've been doing, you know, some scouting and stuff lately, so this should be good. We've got uh, a couple of engine upgrades. This is gonna give us more power, less fuel, even more power and durability, even less fuel. I'm down for it. You guys know, go big or go home. Gearbox, we're gonna be able to get the, the off-road gearbox. All right, I like that. Suspension, we're gonna go with the raised suspension. Tires, ooh, so many options. So we're currently excellent, average, poor. We're obviously, I mean, can we get chains on this? We haven't done any changed tires yet. Wow, dude, this is sick. Okay, excellent, good, excellent. I'm gonna say let's go with chain tires because we haven't done them before. Which ones look the best? I like I like it when we have the, the dualies in the back. I'm gonna go with these, $6,800. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go with the uh, the the high, high oh, we want the advanced. No, we're, we're gonna go with the high power spare wheel. Don't feel like we need it, but why not? Let's throw it on there anyway. Snorkel, we're gonna go with, uh, I mean, what do you guys think looks the best? I really like that one. These two kind of look pretty similar. I'll go with, with the, the intake air filter, I guess. And then here we're gonna want a flatbed, or the sideboard bed works. I just feel like the flatbed looks better, so I'm gonna go with that. Whatever, we got money, bro. I'm not worried about it. Front bumper, not gonna be, oh, that's the, the rear bumper, not gonna be able to do anything. Front side, we're gonna be able to, be able to put this sun visor, that looks pretty good. Rooftop, AC unit, beacon, parking lights, parking lights, fog lights. I like the parking lights a lot. I'm gonna go with that, front bumper. Ooh, we've got some options here. I'm gonna say, ooh, this is tough. I kinda like this, cause this makes it look pretty new school. We can't do that though. So we've got this or this, I'm gonna go with this. So I'll look very Russian, that's for sure. Uh, external horns, do we want any? I'm down for the twins. Looks pretty good. Exhaust, this is stock. We can go with the wedge cap or the heat shielded. I'm gonna go with the wedge cap. Looks pretty nice. And then rims, I'm gonna say, hmm, I kinda like these a little bit better. We're gonna go with the OHG2s. Let's see what kind of combinations we've got. So we've got the red, white, and blue. I actually really like that. Red, white, and black looks pretty nice as well. Green, orange, and black, tan, ooh. See, this is gonna be kind of tough. I even feel like some of the plain colors look pretty good. I feel like the red, white, and black looks the best though. Ooh, dude, this thing is, this thing is mean. I'm ready for this. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go pretty much the same route. We wanna get all the way down to here. We're gonna bang a right, go through to here, bang a left, go through to here, grab the stuff. It's gonna be our plan to start things off. So we'll see, we'll see how this thing does. The Taiga. Tega, however you want to say it. So this thing is, um, it's, it's supposed to be really, really good. It's supposed to be like decent stock, but once you get the upgrades like we have here with the lifted suspension and the better engine and the, the you know, lower gears and stuff like that, it's supposed to be pretty insane. Bro, look at this. These icy roads, we're sticking to them. We're not sliding at all. This is incredible. Try to drive on this stuff with that cat was was awful, but we're just cruising here. See what this interior looks like. Nothing, nothing too crazy, as to be expected here. Bunch of switches. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks it looks clean. That's for sure. We have a rear seat too. Pretty pretty tiny rear seat, but uh, a rear seat nonetheless. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna work. If this thing's gonna gonna outperform the BM17. 
I mean, so far, just the chain chain tires by themselves kind of make up for it. I think you can get chains in the BM17, though. We just weren't a high enough level before, so maybe at some point we'll have to do some sort of a comparison, but I'm going to be honest with you. This thing is absolutely flying, and it feels good. Like, the, driving is a chore in this game. There's there's no no question about that. Like, it's it's meant to be a chore. It's meant to be difficult. It's meant to be, that's, that's what this game's about. But this feels like we're just in an arcade cruiser. It feels like I'm playing, you know, Forza Horizon or something. It's just cruising through this mess. I love it. Gonna be doing a little bit of off-roading for the first time. Let's throw our lights on here. Starting to get a uh, starting to get a bit dark. We'll we'll skip ahead to daytime at some point, but I uh, figure we could enjoy the evening first. See how this thing looks in uh, in the nighttime. So this is where we came through with our. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna put her down at low, maybe low high. See how that works. Yeah, she's. I mean, she's slowing down a bit. I wouldn't call it struggling though. Back into uh, back into auto should be good. So all wheel drive and diff lock are always on. That's nice. I always, I mean, I like having control, but it's also nice when you you can really kind of focus on what you're doing instead of worrying about. Not that it's that hard, but it just like it, it makes it definitely makes it easier when you don't need to worry about anything else. All right, we're we're gonna grab this uh, we're gonna grab this upgrade part. I think this could be a really bad idea, but we're gonna try to enter it so that we can exit it really, really nicely. Go ahead and come down here, grab the part. What'd we get? Engine upgrade for the BM-17, speak of the devil. That's perfect that we got this here. We're definitely gonna need this in low. We're gonna be able to crawl right up out of this. Oh, dude. Oh. Did anybody else's pants just get a little bit tighter? Cause that was, that was just cool. I thought, I, I did it that way because I was like, all right, we're going to want all of our power. We're going to want it to be forward facing so we can get a winch on one of the trees in front of us. And this thing just straight muscled through it like it was nothing. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You just love to see that. Coming up over the crest here. Yeah, dude, I mean, this thing, this is probably my favorite class of truck, the off-road trucks. They're just like, they're so capable, they're so powerful, but at the same time, they're like, it's such a nice package, such a small package that you can really maneuver them easily. Stuff like the Pacific P16, the Cat 745C, stuff like that. It's great, like they're, they're fantastic for what they do, but I just, I, I feel like they aren't, they aren't very malleable. They aren't very adaptable. I still don't think I've found the word that I was looking for, but that's all right. But just being able to fit into to tiny little spaces with these guys and they just kind of keep on giving you more effort than you would ever expect, it's, it's pretty cool. Really kind of makes you appreciate, appreciate the little guys. So here we are. We already made it to uh, the location. We're going to grab some medium pipes. I've never picked up medium pipes before, so I'm kind of kind of hoping for the best here. They're a two slot, looks good to me. I don't think we've ever been out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna grab this, this mission as well, just so we won't have to activate it later. Go ahead and accept it, but we're not gonna do anything yet. Trailer park mission, in interesting. Might have to check that out at some point in the future. So here we go, it looks like, uh, I mean, let's, let's take this path this time just to see what it's about. We couldn't do it last time, just to kind of mix it up a bit. See, uh, you know, got two paths and a yellow wood that that split. We're gonna take the path less traveled. I really should figure out whatever that that exact quote is because I say it a lot in the series. The road not taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could. Yada, 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 yada. I took the less, the one less traveled by and that's the one that made all the difference. Let's go, baby, here we go. We're taking the one less traveled by. We've got the Diet 745C, so we're actually gonna be able to make it. Dude, that is just a nasty, a nasty choke point there. Even our smaller trucks can hardly make it through that. I don't, I don't know why they would put a rock there like that. They need to make it so you can bring like a giant jackhammer and break rocks and cut down trees and stuff like that. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool if you could like 
you know, levolution the map, take it down, destroy it, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, I mean, if you want me to be honest, not really much of a shortcut. I mean, it, it, it's... It's easier terrain, but it kind of snakes back and forth, so it's it's not like it's super beneficial. I, I feel like we cruise through the, the heavy mud stuff on the other side with the 745C pretty easily. Didn't really have, uh, have much of an issue, so here we go. Make our way up the mountain. Make our way around through the water, through the mud, that sort of thing, and we are going to be able to drop off these guns. Oh, 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 oh. Took a little bit of damage there, but we're good. Dude, this is just, this is so beautiful. Last run of the day. I'm ready to get back to my cabin. My wife is back there. She's got dinner on the, dinner on the stove. She's got coffee in the pot. Maybe a hot cocoa or something. I'm ready to get back and sit in front of that fireplace and just feel the warmth. Been out here in the cold all day. Put in a long day's work. What time is it? It's, oh man, it's 10, 17 p.m. I put in, I clocked in about 7 a.m. I'm tired, I'm dog tired. I need a shower. And I need shit and I need to shave. But we made it. That, my friends. It's a job well done. Whoa, did you guys know there was a pathway through here? I had no idea. Okay. I'm down to check that out. So yeah, we, we go out to, uh, to here. We bang a left. We come through here. Make sure we go straight and then go down to the service site. I had no clue there was a path back up over this mountain. Here we go. Brand new day. Back to work. Your boy has, uh, has got his normal voice back on. And um, we're going to see what this is all about. We've got to deliver four spare parts to the factory. Is there a is there a trailer store at the service site? No, but there might be a trailer. Is that a sideboard trailer? It's not telling. Yes, a sideboard trailer. Let's go. So we're gonna be able to go down there. We won't have to buy our own trailer. We can just kind of pick that bad boy up and uh, and take it with us. This is uh, this is gonna be good. I was looking for for something else. I mean, I, I kind of want to use more of this Tega. You know, it was, it was fun using the 745C at the start, but honestly, your boy's kind of hyped up on this Tega. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to take a look at the actual stats and stuff at some point, but I almost feel like this thing might uh, might be a bit more capable than our, our BM-17. Maybe it's just because it's new and I'm excited and it feels different and that sort of thing. But our BM-17 is, is also bay. I don't think you can get really really go wrong with either of these. But I just, I feel like this thing is, I feel like this is, this is low-key kind of a monster. Looking our way through here. I mean, this, this isn't necessarily something I think that you would want to, want to take on with a trailer or anything. Yeah, you probably could, if you want me to be honest. We are going to run into a, a bit of an issue with this this delivery. You would think, oh, we've got this new new off-road truck. We've got a trailer there. We need four spare parts, so that's four slots. We're good to go. We are going to have a, a bit of an issue. The, the Ooh, what are we stuck on? Shoot, our smokestack is stuck on the tree, I think. Got to stay clear of the tree, but also still make it up here. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, this is nasty, but she made, dude, it, this thing's a monster. I'm, I'm, I'm sipping the, the Tega Kool-Aid, bro. Russians do it better. Wow. What is that over there? That's an upgrade part? Okay. Okay. I mean, it's a bit sketchy, but all right. I'll trust you. What are we getting? What is this? Raised suspension for the Ford CLT 9000. 900? 9000? Did I add an extra zero? I think I may have. It's over 9,000. But seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm sipping that, uh, what would this be? Like cherry Kool-Aid? I'm, I'm sipping the cherry Kool-Aid of this, this Tega. This thing is a, a boss. Anyway, we are going to have a, a bit of a, bit of an issue. So down here, where am I looking? Down here at the service site, this long path through here, I'm pretty sure, maybe, I might be crazy. 
I thought that got really nasty, but I'm, I might I might be thinking of something else. This might actually be a pretty easy mission. I mean, this this part wasn't easy, but the rest of it might be easy, dude. We are straight climbing this cliff. I feel like this is something more for like a, you know a, a quad or a dirt bike or something like that. Maybe a snowmobile. Definitely a snowmobile over the other two, but uh, I mean, I guess I guess take us go where others don't, baby. Be careful about the tip, though. We're good. Make our way around here. All right. I'm gonna take a right. We are definitely far from being in the clear. The problem is, is this like, look at the distance between this and this. Look how short that should be. But look at all the, the craziness that you have to go around, all the rocks and trees and obstacles and stuff. Makes it a, a very long trek rather than an easy one. Dude, this, this is amazing. I'm in love. We are flying. Maybe not anymore. Got some mud here. You're going to be able to get through that fairly easily. Mud tires would be better, but the chains do get the job done. Are we going the wrong way? Uh... No. This is part of it. I was going to say, we kind of seem to lose lose the road, but oh, it's back. Okay, we're good. I got nervous for a second. Thought we had gone off the deep end, but we are good to go, and look at that. Rather than taking paved roads to get where we're going, we took a, a giant shortcut. Love to see it. So he definitely isn't isn't kind on the fuel economy. Look at this dude. We're getting up into the 18s and stuff at times. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's a heavy drinker. She might have a bit of a bit of a problem, some would say, but I just call that a good time. You gotta gotta pay gotta pay the big bucks for the good ones. We're gonna make our way through here. We're gonna grab the sideboard trailer. We're going to grab two sets of spare parts, and we are going to make our way to the objective. I'm pretty sure this road gets nasty at the end, but I, I could be crazy. Who, who really knows? So let's swang around here. Go ahead and back on up to this, this girl. Always appreciate a free, like, 3,000 bucks or so. Let's go ahead and attach the trailer. She's on there. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Kind of thinking, let's let's get ourselves at least somewhat situated before we start throwing extra weight on board. All right, we should be good. So we're going four drilling spare parts. There it is. We've got all of our objectives, and let's let's see how old girl toes. Some nice toes on a girl are, are a good thing. That's for, um, that's not really something I'm into. I'm gonna be honest. But uh, to each their own. I mean, I I, I could I could see it for some people. I like how trucks tow, though. You know what I mean? Like, this this kind of turns me on a bit. Dude, the sideboard trailers are red. And it matches with the red of our truck. And we've got the red caution tape or caution line on the side of our, uh, the side of our, our flatbed here. Oh, this thing is, is just dressed out to the nines, bro. That is fantastic. That looks so good. Here we go. I mean, this should, if we can make it through here pretty easily, I'm pretty sure this section's bad, or maybe it was this section that, that was bad. But if we make it through there, I think we have pretty, ooh, we don't. I guess we, we should try to get to here. Should try to, let me delete all of our things. Should try to get to here, left, right, left. We can get fuel if we need it, come through here, and that's gonna be pretty much a, a straight shot to the factory. All right, we got it. We got a plan. Just time to put it in action. Oh, this is the really tippy section. What do you guys think? Your boy likes risking it for the biscuit. May not always be the smartest thing in the world, but we're gonna go for it here. Just don't, we're good. Don't, don't hang a wheel off the side, Trev. That's all you gotta do, just be, be smart about that. Just kind of muscle on through. As long as you keep on go. Oh, that's that's tipping. That's tipping. That's tipping. No, it's not. We're good. Like a boss, baby. 
It's going to try winching to that telephone pole, but we don't need it. Dude, our winch is, is a very short winch, winch, that's for sure. All right. Took the shortcut. It was actually a shortcut. That happens about, uh, you know, 20% of the time in this game, but we'll, uh, we'll take it. Here we go. I'm going to put us in low high, maybe. Might help us out a little bit. Kind of seems like this stuff is, is pretty thick. So we'll try to be smart about it. Back up into that 18 liters a minute range. That is just... I mean... Good thing it's cold up here. We don't have to worry about global warming. You definitely still do. Good thing global warming is a hoax and the, the earth is flat, bro. We make our way through here. This looks a little bit cleaner. Can we go back into auto? Uh, yeah. All right. You know what? It's still it's still kind of struggling. All right, let's let's stay in let's stay in low low plus. We are just dig in here, boys. Get in there. That Tega power, baby. Tega gang or die. Oh, that's that's actually kind of cool. It's like Wiz Khalifa Taylor gang. Tega gang. Mm, look at this view. All right. Is that left gonna take us anywhere? I mean, it might be a bit of a shortcut, but I, I don't, I don't think that's a shortcut that's worth it. Unless, I think this is the part that I thought it was. I think this is the really bad stuff. We might be in trouble up here. Yep. I knew I remembered something. It's been a while since we've been in Alaska, but I, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this. We're gonna try though. Oh, I think this might be the biggest mud puddle in the game. It's the biggest one we've found so far. Haven't been to the last corner of Michigan, which I think we're going to be doing in the next episode. But yeah, dude, I... I mean, this this is just... This is nasty. This is just not good. So we're going to see how she does. I'm not going to use any winch points to start off. Let's get our lights on. Let people know we're coming. All right, yeah, she's going to need some winch points. We're going to be able to make it through... Thankfully, you know, this this right side has the trees along it, but it's it's definitely it's it's not it's not pretty. This is kind of making me wish I had uh, had some mud tires on. Wow. She's slanging. Slanging that dirt. She's doing a good job. If we ever pull any of these trees out of the ground, we are 100% not, not going to make it through here anymore. The biggest one is this section, because we can't immediately get that next tree. So you kind of have to get yourself to a point where you're somewhat on dry ground with that, that right front. So you can kind of keep pulling yourself to, to hopefully get up to this next tree, which we were able to do. I also, I'm, I'm pretty sure, so I, I'm pretty sure the ground re-hardens up with time. I don't know what the exact time is, and I could just be making this up, but I feel like sometimes when we come back a couple days later, the area's reformed. I think if we try to go through that two or three more times, we wouldn't be able to do it. It'd be, it'd be too nasty. So there we have it. Beautiful work. I don't want to want to bang a left here and then bang a right. We're going to be going by the gas station, be able to get some gas. Pretty sure we can put this thing back in auto now. All right. All of our cargo is still intact. Everything looks good to go. Let's, uh, let's keep on keeping. Oh, that's, that's a caution sign. Throw caution to the wind, baby. I remember this section used to be super tough for us. We had a couple trucks almost bogged down in here. Still not easy, but we can make it. I think even like a low high, low plus. Oh yeah, dude. See, that's what's cool when you come back to the old areas where you know you really struggled before and now you have these new beastly trucks with these new beastly add-ons and stuff. And you, you, can, you can like visually, concretely see the progress that you've made. That's, that's a cool feeling, that's for sure. Probably gonna keep this thing in low, low plus for now. Got this gas station off to the side. We're gonna grab some gas and uh, 
eat some I mean this looks intimidating but I don't think it's nearly as as bad as it looks you know what I mean I, I, I think it's it's one of those all bark no bite scenarios you know it's a lot of water but that water is shallow we've got very solid rock coverage not too many big crazy rocks in there yeah we can we can make it through this pretty easy make it up this hill and I think that might be uh I mean I I think that's one of our one of our final final hurdles that we're gonna have to get through we pretty much just have this nice clear paved road all the way to our objective and man this I mean this this was this was amazing I I, I think I'm in love that was just incredible and look, look at how it's performing on this ice here like it's just you know little down should never hurt anybody we're just gonna be able to keep on chugging as soon as we deliver this stuff, I'm going to head back to the garage. I kind of want to do a little comparison stat-wise of our maxed out Tega and maxed out BM-17 next to each other. I'm curious what the game files say. I don't know. It's going to be tough to choose. We definitely don't need both. I think either one will get the job done. But if you want me to be honest, I kind of... I mean, obviously it's honeymoon phase, but I kind of feel like the Tega might be a little bit better. Not to mention that the Tega, it's later on in the game, so it, it makes sense that it would be better. You can't get this thing until you get to Russia. Whereas the BM-17 you can get uh, get early on. So, I don't know. It's crazy, man. We definitely come a long way from our pay star. Let's be careful here. I see that trailer sliding around back there on the ice. But uh, looks like we're going to be able to drop old girl off right here. Look at that. One shot complete the mission that's what I'm talking about do we have trailer trailer stuff anywhere around here we don't all right you know what I'm just uh, I'm just gonna leave this thing here then let's let's pull it up against one of these things back here I mean I'm not really I'm not really the best at parking trailers I just need you uh, oh okay I was gonna say I just need you out of the way uh, I guess that works so the BM-17 is A+, plus, B+, plus, A- minus with a 280. And then here's the Tega. So we've got better power to weight, slightly less durability, but better fuel consumption. We've also got better fuel capacity in this thing, and we've got a diff lock. The Tega's better. There's no doubt about that. All right. Well, you know what? It's been fun, Royal BM-17. I, I appreciate you, but you got to go. I'm going to take the 150 back on that. And this is our new workhorse. So uh, I'm excited to continue using her. But anyway, that's going to be a wrap for this episode. And the next one, we are going to be checking out the final area of Michigan. We've got uh, Island Lake. It's a huge one. So make sure you guys are excited for that. And uh, I'll see you guys there.